The purpose of Free Thought Forum is to be vigilant to the encroachment of religion into government and to educate the general public as to what a free thinker is. My thoughts give me power. No scholar can map them. No hunter can trap them. No person can deny. Welcome to Free Thought Forum. I'm Catherine Farringer, the producer of this show. It's a show for the expression of ideas, and we have plenty of them. The idea we're going to talk about today is the one that the Founding Fathers had for establishing religious freedom in this country. And I have with me today Tara Lita Maverick and Randy Lutke, uh, who has done uh, full of it, Dr. Or Reverend, Don, Reverend full Dr. Of it full of it, name. yes. <laughs> and several people, I understand, have turned it off because they thought it was a truly religious program. Yeah, <laughs> so, we should correct that right yeah, now. Yeah, we no, better, I am better not say a something about mm -hmm. it. But anyway, right now, of course, we are very, very concerned about this uh, faith-based uh, social services thing that, that our president is uh, trying to put in place. I don't think it's going to work. I don't see how it can, because already the religions, as usual, are fighting about it. The, uh, well, I think at first glance it, it sounds good uh, to some people uh, to be able to choose what school their kids go to, to, choo to choose one school over the rest, but I, it's a big it's a big disguise, I think, for the religious people that want their kids to go to a Christian school and get state money for it. Well, yes, uh, that, that is a, a terrible mistake. We'll get into that in a minute. But more, more what I was aiming for was this faith-based social services where they dole out the soup and the, and the clothing and the, all of that. And the oh, religions okay. are going uh -huh. to get uh, uh, federal funds for this, awesome. our money, in other words, to do this, well, as well as those terrible vouchers, which is a terrible idea because right away you know, A, there are not enough religious schools to take all the children and they do want to kill the public schools, that's the main idea right there, is to get rid of them because they think so lowly of them. But I'm more concerned about this right now, this social service thing, which as I say has, has created a lot of... Uh, of dissension amongst the religious uh, parties involved because mm -hmm. one religion thinks always, as you know, that it is the perfect and only one. And the perfect and only one doesn't think that the, uh, for instance, the uh, uh, Wicca would be considered a likely source to obtain tax funding for their programs, if they have any. I don't know whether they have. They may be like us, so so poor and so unbased because we have no no uh, tithing uh, yes we we don't tithe we do well to collect the dues for the club and i might yeah. speak to that right now too but what is to what's to determine what a faith is and what a religion is who's going to decide that well exactly because this will cause all kinds of entanglement somebody's got to say well this is and that isn't and the ones that say uh, are told that they aren't that's not going to speak too well uh, it's not going to go over well, I don't think, with the, the whole thing. Everybody's backing out. Even that horrible Marvin Olasky, the uh, guru of President Bush, you know, oh. the professor up at uh, UT, he's even backed down on this uh, faith-based, uh, tax-supported. They keep changing the name. It used to be vouchers, and that sounded well. That pretty, was pretty that bad. was the school and, thing, yeah. And now they keep putting euphemisms. Charitable choice. Yes, charitable choice. And it well, sounds so nice. Well, of course it does. And they, I liked it when <laughs> they couldn't stand it when women were fighting for choice as to what to do with their bodies, oh. whether or not to be <laughs> mothers. They couldn't stand that. But then it comes to school. Right away, choice is a big choice word. We love it mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm. But, uh, um, yeah, they've got a lot of strange ideas. Um, well, with the, with the faith-based charity, you have a charity. Someone has to decide if it's faith-based. And who's going to decide that? And look at all the different types of faiths that you have. Uh, you have polytheistic faiths, too. Not, not just the Christian belief, mm -hmm. but you have people who uh, believe, believe in more than one God. You yeah. have uh, beliefs that are, oh, well, I, I don't, I, I, I'm not an expert on Native American beliefs, but there's people who believe that there is a kind of, uh, whether it's spiritual or natural energy, an energy that binds the world together. Uh, Buddhism gets into that a little bit, I mm -hmm. guess. Um, 
uh, but there are so many different types of, of beliefs, and who's to say what a faith is, and what is a religion? Uh, I remember uh, a group that, that wanted to smoke marijuana and make it legal for, to do that in their church. Mm -hmm. uh, well, they, they probably wouldn't do very good for the, for the drug abuse counseling. But, uh, <laughs> but with these types of religions, who's going to determine what's a religion and what isn't? Yeah, what if you well, have some kook that, that wants to start wants to get funds and start his own thing under the guise of, yes. of helping someone well, uh, just so he can start his own business and get some money and he makes up some weird religion. Who, who's going to make that decision? Who's going to decide whether or not that's a faith? Well, um, that's like the IRS thing. I mean, somebody had to decide. There had to be some kind of governmental decision, that mm -hmm. didn't there? Well, there because, is some. There is a group. You remember how the, uh, what do they call the Scientologists? They fought oh. for years <laughs> to get the tax <laughs> exemption, and mm -hmm. they got it. They're powerful enough, strong enough, got a lot of good people up front, you know, promoting it. Uh, John Travolta. Uh, what's the other one that was so popular? Uh, I can't Is it think. the Ron Tom Hubbard Cruise. thing? Tom, or, yeah, yeah, the Ron Hubbard thing. Mm -hmm. Tom Cruise. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's some talk that the marriage between Tom and whoever he was married to, Nicole somebody, uh, split because she was reared as a Catholic and he was, he's heavy into this Christian scientist stuff. But again, they say, well, the faith-based religions are not going to be a, a breach in this wall of separation. No, 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 we're, we're going to do what we do best, and we have better success than the secular things, but we are going to push the soup and the clothes and the services and not the Bible. Well, then why call it faith-based? It's based on faith. You mm -hmm. can't suddenly say, oh, no, we're not going to have anything to do with Bibles in this. Don't kid me. Sure. I know better than that. All and you I'm, have to do is walk downtown in any large metroplex and you'll see these little missions. Um, and those missions will continue to be there to help people, but they'll get federal funding for it. Yeah. Um, and you'll have people who, where uh, they would otherwise have gone to a, a state-supported, government-supported institution or whatever they mm. needed, a uh, soup kitchen or whatever it might be for, for their help, Instead, they're going to go to a place where they're going to get uh, the Bible or, or Buddha or, or whatever religion shoved in whatever their face. Whatever they're pushing, yeah. Sure. Exactly. Um, even, even if it's just around them on the walls, it's still, uh, well, in, in legal uh, situations over sexual abuse in an office, uh, someone has pictures, sexy pictures in the office. That's called a uh, hostile environment. Mm -hmm. Well, you're going to have the same sort of a thing, even if they don't shove the Bible at you. You're going to have It'll the religious things all around you, so mm -hmm. there's still going to be, there's still that, that, that uh, situation where you have an environment that, that pushes it at you, even if nobody physically comes up mm -hmm. and, and says you need to be saved. Well, it's like voting. I have to vote in the Catholic Church. And I go in, and there's the Pope hanging on the wall, and big crosses. Uh, one time, it was around Easter, I guess it was the, the mayor, uh, the voting for the mayor, and they had all the crosses left over from Easter with the gauze <laughs> draped around them, and I could stand great. at the, the little booth where I filled out my uh, mm -hmm. voting uh, thing and touch that cross, if I wanted to, but uh, I object to that, and I've complained to him complained and complained and it does no good, absolutely no good. I vote absentee now because I'm old enough to do it. So, Well, I can see how in the future this might turn into a, a civil rights issue almost. Well, it, I should think it would or could very easily because this is, um, this is well, I don't know, every, every time something like this happens I feel like there's been another nail pounded in, in this coffin of the that we secular people are in now, crowded, squashed, and ignored, and other religious people are taking over, and it's, it's frightening to me. Um, as some of you could refer to your own sermon there about it's okay to do all these terrible things because God said to do them, and that's what lots of people do. There's this uh, black minister now with a church. Nineteen of the children that go there have been held by more than one of the congregation and beaten, this is mm. what he believes in, the old biblical thing again, spare the rod, spoil the child, all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. 
And fortunately now, 19 children have been removed from their parents, and uh, social services have taken over, and the minister is still saying, but God says to do it, and you can't make me stop. And the guy, the judge was uh, not very sympathetic towards that attitude. Well, I think people of, uh, of, of one religion, say for instance, Christians, mm -hmm. who support the faith-based charity thing, they could envision their child being poor or, or having some problem that, that this charity could help them with, uh, and they envision them going to a Christian charity. But what if it's not? What if, yeah. what if this Christian person, uh, could you imagine your child go, well, there are Arab cultures where they beat themselves in the head with rocks uh, to, because of their sins and they're being repentant and they, they parade down the street and they hit themselves in the head with rocks and blood's gushing. Ew, it's awful. really an ugly thing. Yeah. Well, what if your Christian child needed help and was sent to one of their faith-based <laughs> organizations? Yeah, before you, know? you eat your soup, you're going to hit yourself yeah. in the head with a rock. Uh, Great. <laughs> sure. I, you know, a lot of women would say, not my child, you know, he's not going to yeah, one of those. Right. Um, and, and the decision, the decision of what a faith is, is, a, is that a legal decision? Is it a personal decision? You know, what decides a faith? Yeah. Well, you ask, who is going to decide? They already have a commission. I just got a fax from the Texas Freedom Network, and it's called the Texas Association of Christian Child Care Agencies. And yeah. they, right. they decide who will get the money in these faith-based child care organizations. And the worst of these is the Roloff Homes. And they mm. were... I thought the, the name Roloff disappeared. Yeah. No. After 60 Minutes did something on them back in the early 80s. And I, they did. In, in the 80s, they, ha they had a, pr a problem with abusing children. And so they moved to M Missouri. Yeah. But they have recently That's been invited back when Bush was governor in 1999. They were invited? Come, invited by the governor to come back. That's just downright embarrassing. Somebody, <laughs> well, somebody the whole in our government system. The would whole have election the, was uh, embarrassing. <laughs> and so this, this organization, if you see it, is T A C C C A, TACA. And they are, they are the organization. But this is a, what, this, so this is a, a Christian group that's going to decide design, yes, what's what, a faith and what isn't yes, for all faiths. That's what it well, says. That doesn't no, sound that doesn't right. sound, no, it sounds like it, Texas you would so think that it should be a multi-dimensional, yeah, multi-faith mm, organization. Certainly not Christians. No, no. But these are going to be Christians to decide this. Huh? And if you said it's a child care center thing? Mm. Now this Child is the care state. agency. This is for the state of right, Texas. Right, not the federal, but the state. No, and that you know that in right now in the federal government, they're about they may pass a bill for charitable choice. So so they will take your your federal income tax yeah. money, mm -hmm. the state money, and may even sit, uh, city money to fund these schools. And organizations like this will decide who is eligible. Oh, that's really No, I'm not as up on all this as I, I probably should be. I just found this be, out a few days I, ago. Did I hear you say uh, earlier that Texas has a bill right now before the Texas, uh, the state Leg Senate. Legislature. Uh -huh. Because there's one before the federal yes. Congress, and they're trying to get this going early? Is yes, that, is that yes, basically what yes, they're doing uh, in preparation for the expected to combine, uh, affirmation of the one in the If we give 50%, the they'll give us 50% if they pass it on federal level. Okay. So they will fund it, uh, so we'll only have to pay 50% of the cost, and our, they'll take it from the federal level. And these, these are House, House Bill 2825, exempting faith-based child care from well, in this case, from being licensed or regulated. Now, that's scary. Licensed or regulated. That is very, very scary. They can operate without a license if House Bill 2825 is passed. Well, and I'm roll off Howard. fits right in And there. roll off just rolls well, off. Well, I think we should fit right in there, too. Let's have a little atheist uh, <laughs> child care. But you know, Absolutely. I, I feel Why sensitive not? about even talking about them. They're so crazy. They chain themselves to the Supreme Court doors in Texas, and they might be litigious. And here I am talking about them and the, and the governor and all those right-wing Christian coalition people are approving of them now. What, I feel like, are they going to burn a cross on my 
mm-hmm. front yard or what? Are they going to sue me? They might. Huh? Well, <laughs> Take not, heart. <laughs> not needing a license is a, is a terribly scary thing. It's a thing. terrible thing uh, not to be licensed. And yeah, here my daughter works for years to get her teacher's license to be accredited. Yeah. And now, now it matter. the teachers don't have to be, not only does the school itself, yeah, but the neither don't have does to the be. teacher. Cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Now, as Howard, you know, had a little piece in the paper not long ago, a nice little column. Did you see it by any chance? No, I missed that. Oh, darn. Well, it was good. It's reprinted in the newsletter, so you will get it when you get the uh, fact newsletter. Okay. Freedom from, no, freedom from religion. I've got freedom from Free religion on the brain. Free Thinkers Association of Central okay. Texas. <laughs> yes. I happen to have it right here. Um, he said that he didn't understand why people had such trouble grasping the importance of the separation of church and state. He said, even a goat can understand. <laughs> <laughs> sure, they shouldn't but have. But there must be some form of livestock that's lower than a goat because there are plenty of people who do not understand it. They don't understand that it means freedom. And if you, the minute you lock religion in with government, you've got a real problem. Oh, I think a real serious problem. Yes, history and, shows uh, us that. Yeah, right. well, as you know, when the uh, the pilgrims came pilgriming over here and uh, started their little churchly ways and their little uh, group in Massachusetts, uh, they turned right around and did all the same hateful, horrible things that had been done to them in the old country. Mm-hmm. Well, that's, that's what people can't seem to grasp that 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 these people who have had. Uh, have been persecuted will come over and turn right around and persecute others who don't believe the way they do. So uh, without this separation of church and state, because it, once religion locks in with government, as, as popes have done with government and cardinals have done in mm-hmm. France with mm-hmm. government, uh, and the problem, is, is, I think, with people comprehending this is that they've got this little vision of those sweet little precious pilgrims and their little black hats and they're having that little Thanksgiving feast and it was mean. so darling. They were mean as hell. Not only that, but they've got this vision and so they see that as being all good. These people came for their freedom. Now you want to take it away from them. No, no, we want everybody to have freedom. And what they don't understand is that Rhode Island, Rhode Island had a religion. Well, they kicked Roger Williams out of the state. Remember, uh, his state, where yes. he was from Massachusetts, mm-hmm. went and founded Rhode Island, okay? So the Massachusetts had a religion. Virginia had a state religion. I don't know how many others did. I haven't done my, my research here for the program. But uh, we're coming from entanglement to the separation. And that's what people can't get through their heads. It's taken a darn long time. I must say, this is one of the best books. Religious there Liberty. Is. Yes. And the second. I'll bet you were there. John, uh, John Swamley came to town about 10 years ago and spoke yeah. at the ACLU luncheon they used to have at huh. that uh, horrible restaurant. Well, I shouldn't say that, should I? Uh, <laughs> anyway, and he signed my book, and I, you can see that I, I have read, I've it, read it. And I've certainly, it looks like a porcupine with all these mm. little things sticking out. But I think that's where the problem comes. People cannot understand that we are coming from it. There was no pattern for it. No other country had ever done it. And the Founding Fathers did it. They, they figured this thing out for themselves. And now people seem to think that we're trying to stop religious freedom by saying there must be a separation. Right. No, no, that's for the freedom, my dear, or you will have those Puritans chasing you all over that's Hell's right. Half Acre. So uh, I think that's where the goat comes in. Just <laughs> <laughs> sure, I think if, if anybody just takes a trip down through history, they'll see it, not just with the pilgrims, but uh, any time that the, the church gets its hand in the government, mm-hmm. especially when they're one and the same, yeah. the horrible things happen. You know, it, it happened uh, a long time ago. They called it the Dark Ages mm-hmm. you know, because the church yeah. put an end to art, Music yes. and anything, anything. beautiful, uh, cultural, yes, uh, anything uplifting. Like that. Look um, at the Inquisition. Yeah, indeed. Look at the witch burnings. Uh, just any time the church gets involved in the government and gets that full power to do whatever they want, uh, they'll do it. Well, Howard's contention too is that uh, religion must be uh, announcing its great failure because if it needs federal money to keep mm-hmm. things going. It's, then it's, it's welfare, a, welfare mm-hmm. for Christianity. Yeah, isn't that cool? There isn't a Christian out there 
who understands that it is a godless constitution. Mm -hmm. It completely ignores Christianity and Jesus. And I'm just reading it. Religion appears only as a prohibition against religious tests for office. That's the only time mm -hmm. against religious. And the First Amendment's Congress shall make no law for or against religion further emphasizes state-church separation. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's true. It's a, go um, it's a godless constitution. I wish... I wish so much that we could get in God we trust off our currency. I know. I mean, and really? not, not just from an atheist point of view, but no, think about how offensive it must be for people of other religions. Yeah. Think terribly. how Christians would feel if it said, in Allah we trust, or exactly. in Buddha we trust. You mm -hmm. know, Christians would hit the roof. Yeah, but you have um, that ability to put yourself in someone else's shoes, and Christians are sadly lacking, I find, mm -hmm. in being able to do that. They just can't understand that other people feel a different way, and why shouldn't they? And I, uh, I, also the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I've taught my son, oh, mm -hmm. or have, I told him that if he wants to, when they say one nation under God, mm -hmm. he can say one nation under the sky. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, I read that somewhere, and I thought, what a great idea, yeah, you know, that this, this woman had taught her children to do that. Mm -hmm. And that it. way, they don't stand out by being silent or by skipping it. Mm -hmm. um, and if he wants to say one nation under God, I, that's okay. You know, if my son mm -hmm. becomes a Christian, I'll still love him. I don't yeah. try to force my belief yeah. or non-belief on him. Uh, but children but, should but be as, given options. But aren't really. we doing that? Aren't we forcing a belief on people when we say in God we trust on the currency, when we say one nation under God mm. in the Pledge of Allegiance, we're we're pushing that. Always. Know, one particular Always. type of religion. Christians are pushy. I'm not saying that I don't have a lot of friends who are Christian and they're perfectly delightful people, but as a group, uh, they can be pretty pushy. You know, in the name to put of it their, mildly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's probably a little too miles. <laughs> it comes with, I think it comes with a, an overzealous attitude to further your religion. Uh, and, you know, I, I grew up a Southern Baptist, um, and Christian people are, are, for the most part, warm, good hearted people. Uh, and I love them just like I love anybody mm -hmm. else in the world. Mm -hmm. but, uh, you know, they just don't understand that there is plenty of love, hope, and forgiveness without any gods. That's it. Um, and and they, in their desire to to further their own religion, they push too hard. Mm -hmm. um, especially the leaders who want to get in well, front of that group it. of people and be a leader and wants to. Mm -hmm. I object to, to make funding, a name for themselves. To sometimes. helping fund the pulpits for people like uh, uh, what's his name in Kennedy in uh, Florida. Um, mm. Oh, you don't know him? He's he's the one that really hates gays with a purple patch. Oh, the one that came to San Antonio when the policeman wanted the sex change? Oh, no, that's a terrible other man. Yeah, okay. He's the awful one. He hates gays, too, and he really hates yes. them. Um, but they stir up all this hatred in their flocks, mm -hmm. and that that's not good. They should not get my tax money and your tax money for getting up there and spouting all this hatred, which leads to terrible crimes like the Matthew mm -hmm. Shepard hate crimes, uh -huh. and the James and Bird, and all of those, and they're, these people are inspired by their ministers. Mm -hmm. I mean, they don't just think this up. I mean, who's going to to do that, and who's going to even read the Bible unless somebody pounding on you all the time to do it? Well, right. and, and it's not just Christians. Uh, you know, go to a Muslim well, country and try to preach Christianity. Just knock don't, those Buddha don't get me started out. on that. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a they love women in those countries, hippie, don't they? Yeah. I hitched across North Africa, and I didn't oh know goodness. anything about ge politics or geography or anything. My son and I, we just hitched across North Africa, and I got into Algeria, and it was horrible. I bet. It was a terrible experience. I didn't know how awful it was. I didn't. Have, we didn't have any place to sleep. Mm -hmm. And if it hadn't been from some nice man that escaped from India who had a job there, I don't know what we would have done. Because they, they, you go to the hotel and it says complet, closed, oh, full, full. Mm -hmm. and uh, and the way they treat women, it, I hardly saw any women's faces. The whole time I was there. Right, and you think that the women are, are completely covered from head to toe in black cloth because it was a government 
decision. It was a it was a, re a government, but it was religious. religious. Yeah. Religion it, it and was, government are the it, same. It wasn't for their health. It wasn't. <laughs> I know. It well, was it might for help a if you have religious if you reasons. have allergies. It might help. <laughs> oh my gosh! I think I'll send Sally over there. And I, I, now, don't get me wrong. I don't. I don't think that the uh, faith-based charity thing is going to lead to anything like that. Uh, oh, but yeah. it's 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 just. It's one step in the wrong direction. It certainly we don't is, need to and be it's going. a giant step in the wrong direction. I think it's going to open a huge can of worms. I think I that too. religious organizations, when mm -hmm. they find out that they have to follow federal guidelines to get this money, yeah. they're going to go, wait a minute, maybe our church doesn't want to get yeah, involved well, in this after all. But suppose they pass a law um, exempting them from, well, from regulation uh, and at all, and they'll get worse mm -hmm. without, I, I like having some regulation or being checked on occasion to see if I'm living up to yeah. snuff, you know. Well, and you can't turn people loose with small children like this thing suggests no. without mm -hmm. some kind of regulation on the, on the people who are taking care of these children <sighs> and the actual premises themselves. Um, well, we yeah. have about three and a half more years of putting up with this, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So get ready. <laughs> well, you never know. I, I, I think, uh, yeah. of course, you know, I can't really make a prediction. That's ridiculous. But I, I just, in the back of my mind, I feel like the closer this comes to being voted on and approved, yeah. the more people are going to see that it's yeah. a can of worms. I there are think, already uh, people in already. the Congress saying that it's going to happen. Especially yeah. if it impacts uh, the public schools and they start paying the teachers less or taking away their health care benefits mm -hmm. in the public school because they don't have as much money. I'll have to pay for my daughter's hospitalization. <laughs> no, I don't think so. God. Well, what about hiring practices? What if yeah, what if this charitable do. organization, which gets government funding, yeah. if they get government funding, they're going to have to follow federal hiring practices. They won't be able to hire somebody because they're a Christian or yeah. turn somebody away because, because they're an they're atheist. Mm -hmm. They'll that, they have to follow federal guidelines and will have to. Uh, yeah, that should be the way. And I think that's practices. where they find already. Pat Robertson was the first one that spoke of all people. Back spoke and up and saying, I don't think so. I, mean, I don't. I don't want that money. I don't want the government yeah. telling me what they to do. They make so much money anyway uh -huh. that they don't need it. Oh that shoot! Yeah, his diamond mines in Africa money. and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. He's he's got it made, made in the shade. So, um, but there are others. Even Delulio, the one that was picked to head this uh, faith-based program thing, is kind of having a little second. You know, I was having second thoughts about that. it. I heard that. Yeah. So, and of all people, Marvin Olasky, the guru for President Bush, who put this idea in his head in the first place, he's also kind of pulling back. Yeah. And so I think as we, uh, as a little more time goes by, we're going to see more and more people saying, ooh, I don't think this is a good idea. Mm -hmm. I think Not at probably all. Probably President Bush, when he starts to have all these people. Yeah. You know, starting to, to fall away from this idea. Mm -hmm. He may save himself embarrassment and start to back away from it himself to distance himself. Otherwise, he may look like a failure. I hope so, but he's people. always saying of, I think of so. Jesus and religion. Well, it changed my life. That's the way he says it, too. Yeah. Um, so I guess he expects that it will change other people's lives, but I can assure you it will be for the worst of the worst. <laughs> is it time to say goodbye from Free Thought Forum, or am I getting a wind up here? I'm not sure, but I think we will say goodbye for now and hope to see you next week. I think as I please, and this gives me pleasure. My conscience decrees, this right I must treasure. My thoughts will not cater to Duke or dictator. No person can deny, decadence in fry. No person can deny, decadence in fry.